Joyu has recently released their first R series fuss pedal, the Hot Witch. But the question that remains is: is it any good? Welcome, fellow Tom Chasers, to the hottest budget fuss pedal release of 2023. Joy did it once again. After several hits spot on with the R series, after a brief walk through the bass world, Joy came back to the guitar paradise bringing their first fuss pedal on the series. We're talking about the R25, or as we prefer to call it, the Hot Witch. For those who are not familiar with Joyu R series, this is the highest end series of Joyu pedals, with amazing build quality, visual design, and the biggest love of the pedal board builders, the colored neon LEDs. The R series is a journey through the most classic pedal topologies, always adding a special tweak to make it sound original. But what did they bring this time? As we mentioned before, the choice of the round was a fuss. But not any fuss, we are talking about a triangle muff. The Electroharmonics Triangle Muff got famous because of its positioning of the knobs in the shape of a triangle, which brought the name to it. Sonically speaking, this is the bass sound of one of the most loved guitarists in the world, David Gilmour. And that's the way it is, Monday, August 18th, 1969. The Joya take on the Triangle Muff promises to get a spot on Gilmore tones, and also offers an alternate voicing for more modern sounds. On its official website, Joya claims to offer deep lows for rhythm guitar, smooth solos and a soulful tone. Sellers claim also that it has a great fuzzy gain, a nice low end and a scooped mids, but it's nicely balanced in tone. Let's start talking about the build quality of this pedal. It is the standard high-end level of all R series, with the brushed steel texture on the enclosure and the neons on the top and the bottom sides. For this one, the neon LEDs are red. It has the same functionality to change the behavior of the neons between three stages. Always on, never on, or synchronized with the pedal engagement. You can select it by changing the switch on the back of the pedal. Knobs and controls are the standard muff ones. Volume, Sustain and Tone. The original addition of Joyo Stake is the toggle to switch between vintage and modern modes. There is no official information about what to expect on the change of the voicings, but on the No Talk review you can see that we have basically an attenuation of the low end and a slightly compensation of the mids, which makes the sound less beefy, but helps to cut through the mix. Another important factor that makes this pedal a good take is the response to dynamics. Muffs are well known for being highly compressed tones, but the Hot Witch has an amazing response to picking, that can prolong the sustain and the sensation of the massive sound. Let's take a quick look at some sound samples made with this beauty.
If you'd like to see the full no talk review, I'll let the video attached on the upper corner. In terms of sweet spots, I personally like the high volume, lower sustain and flat tone, especially on the vintage mode. And also the cranked sustain on the modern mode is amazing. This pedal also works amazingly stacked or boosted with other pedals. Here you can see one example of how it reacts when boosted by Joyo Taurin, a clone type drive. In a general way, I think that what Joyo and Sellers claim is pretty spot on. This is an amazing addition to the pedal board of those who want to sound Floydish, but also like playing more modern stuff, like the grunge. The voicing modes create a two-in-one pedal that you'll not find on the market for this range of price. Talking about prices, currently the Hot Witch goes around $60 on the moment that we are recording this video, which is a pretty good bang for the buck. I'll keep on the description of the video the link for the Joy Official Store if you'll be interested in checking it out. I am amazed with the results I got with this one, so it goes straight to my board. This is my opinion, but now let me know yours. Take a look at the No Talk review and let me know if you agree with what I am sharing here. Thanks a lot for watching this review. If you think that my content can help you, please consider to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, so you know every time I'll drop new releases here. More to come soon. Thanks a lot and keep on rocking!